Hi, <laughs> welcome to my bedroom, and today it is Carly Rae showing you my room tour. Alright, so we finally moved into our new house June 1st, and I finally got all the things done and hung up in my room, so now today I'm going to be showing you my room tour, but first, we are going to be showing you an overview of my entire bedroom, along with my closet and bathroom. First, behind my door, I have a whiteboard to kind of keep down notes, but I kind of just like gave up on that because it's too much to change every day. So now my friends are writing on it and I'm going to keep the date daily so I don't forget what I have to do that day. And it is behind my door. Bam. And I also have a couple of cute magnets on it. Then over here I have my nightstand from Amazon. I kind of keep like junk in here. Like I don't really keep this organized. I have my Xbox controllers some popcorn and then like in here I just have like money and my controllers and stuff like that and extra chargers and up here I have a water bottle because I'm always drinking water in my bedroom I have these two things which are from Target and you're gonna notice that there is several candles in my room and I don't even pay attention to like the scents of them I kind of just buy them because I think they look good then over here, I actually have a glass jar with my sleep number controller in it, which I will get into that later. But the reason I have it in a glass jar is because it always goes missing and it's kind of hard to get up out of bed and go in the drawers and find it. And then there's like this little compartment where I keep like my ring that I wear a lot. And then I have my main controller for my TV, my planner, my MacBook Air, and then I have one of these scenty things because they look kind of tacky laying out. So I keep one under here. And my headboard is from Joss and Main along with my picture above my bed. I thought that was super cute because it matches all the colors on my bed and all the colors of my room and bathroom. And then on here I have these super cute lights. I thought it added a really cute effect to my room. These are actually from Hobby Lobby and there's two sets of these in my bedroom. Back here I just have like this really soft pillow which is from Target. Then I have just like two like everyday sleeping pillows and then these are like my neater pillows and I got these pillowcases and this comforter at JCPenney and a couple of decorative pillows to go along with that. This white fuzzy pillow is from Target and these two are from Elder Beerman. And this blanket is from Target and I thought that was super cute because it matches the one white fuzzy pillow. And then up here I have my TV and everyone says it kind of looks tacky in the middle of the room but like no one really realizes that it goes up against the wall like this and then it can like come all the way out to here when I'm laying in bed or it could go over there when I'm sitting on my couch so it's pretty neat and this is a Samsung TV which is like a smart TV so I can do a lot of things on it like play games watch Netflix go on YouTube all that cool stuff and I got it from Best Buy under here I have my Xbox um I only really play on it when I have free time which is kind of never but it's good to have in case I get bored then I'm not going to go too deep into this, but here's just a quick overview of my closet. I have a walk-in closet, very big, and if you want to see like everything of my closet, then I actually have a closet tour on my channel, so make sure you go and check that out. It will be linked below, and the thing that annoys me the most is that the light switch is on the outside. Now I always walk in there, and I'm like all over the wall, and I have to come back up. And then I have these little cubbies from Just in Maine. I got all three of these little baskets from Target. Like I said, the insides of everything is not really organized, but these are all my scarves. This is kind of like books, extra pencils, schoolwork, all that kind of stuff. I have some phone cases in there as well. Then in here I have my tank tops that I used to wear, and if I ever have like a see-through shirt, it's nice to have those. Over here I have my golden lamp, which you may remember from my old room tour. If not, make sure you go check that out because that will be in the description below as well. Like I said, another candle. I've had this candle for a long time. I really don't burn candles. They're kind of just there for decoration and smell, I guess. So right here I have like this silver metallic elephant, which was kind of like the first start of my room. Like it was the first thing I ever bought for this bedroom. So that's pretty cool. So back here to match with the silver, I have my 100,000 YouTube plaque. So thank you guys for subscribing to my channel and make sure 
you thumbs up all my videos and tell your friends to subscribe to my channel as well. So down here I have these two little cute beach theme and you're going to tell that everything in here is beach themed. So first to start off, I thought the starfish was super cute and this is kind of like a jewelry box but it has like this super cool coral top. So I thought that was cute and I think they go super good together. And then here is like this piece of coral which I actually like really like this. I'm pretty sure that's why I got everything else is because I like that so much. And so far everything has been from home goods besides these two actually aren't. And these seashells right here my parents actually got from Hawaii and they had them in their bathroom for the longest time but then they gave them to me. And then this right here is from Cancun, Mexico. I thought it was super cute and I keep just a couple of things in there. Moving on, more seashells. I really like seashells. I think they're super cute. Then I have the sand dollar that Josie actually gave to me for my birthday one year. And then this is just a seahorse, which I also got from Home Goods. Over here, I have my white fuzzy cube, is what I like to call it. This is the blanket that I use every night to sleep with. So I just keep it here instead of keeping it on my bed because it looks a lot nicer over here. Then in the inside, this is where I store all my blankets just in case anyone stays the night and they want to sleep on my couch or my bed. They have extra blankets. And this little fuzzy cube is from Home Goods as well. If you guys are looking for a really good blanket, get these blankets. They're from Target. Super cheap, super comfortable. And I got my couch from a place called the Appliance Center. Actually, I was not planning on keeping this pillow for it, but I thought it looked super cute with this pillow that I got from Target a long time ago. And then on the back of it, I have a white fuzzy blanket to just make it look a lot cuter, which I also got from Target. Another thing from Joss and Main, I have my small table that was supposed to be my nightstand, but was not tall enough, so I thought it was super cute next to my couch. So I have this green plant here that is from Costco. I have some Febreze here, just to freshen up my room a little bit. And then here I have this little like package with a ton of stuff from Bath and Body Works, which I got for my birthday from Alicia. Under here is nothing but Sour Patch Kids that are probably very old. Um, and then in here I kind of keep gum, my school IDs, food. And then under here is like all my paperwork for my bed, the directions, and under here is just like a ton of extra charges if I ever need that. I don't really care to organize the inside of stuff as long as people can't see that. So over here I have my Carly sign which was in my old bedroom. It actually used to be a turquoise color. A couple of days ago, which was in the Our Family Nest video, we painted it the same color as my bathroom. So once we go in there, you'll probably notice that it's the same color. So these lights are from Hobby Lobby and the clothespins are from Michaels. And then up there on every single thing, I have a Polaroid picture that I have taken of memories with my friends. And then here I have my mirror, which is from Bed Bath & Beyond. One has my golf cart key on it, so that one's important. This one, not so much, but it has a ton of quarters in it. So I thought it was super cool because I've never seen a bulletin board mirror, and I was kind of thinking it would be super cute to hang like some type of like lights or like beads around it. I thought that would look super cute, but I already have two things of lights in my room, and I think that might be too much. So I'm not sure yet what I'm going to put up here. You guys have already seen my bathroom, but there's a couple of new things that I'm just going to quickly go through. Obviously, remember my toilet. Still have the same garbage can. Maybe not with the same garbage in it. I got a new rug, actually, because the other ones were bleach stained because I don't know how to clean the bathroom. And I have this new plant, which is from Home Goods. This I got, like, the other one that was in my nightstand. I got it purple to match my bathroom. This I've had for a very long time. My sink, my soap, Alexa's the new addition. Sorry, I don't know that one. Um, <clears throat> I also got this from Home Goods. It's supposed to be like this, but people keep changing it. And this is from Home Goods. It is a little dog and like a ring holder or necklace or bracelet holder. And then also from Home Goods, I have this plant. Super cute. And then I always just keep a charger in here, which I guess is kind of new. And then in my shower, which you guys have obviously seen before, and I have all my bath bombs in here, which they surprisingly fit. And then all of my shampoos and body washes and soaps. Yes, that's about it for my shower. Nothing else. Last but not least, I have these little pokey things, which I thought were super cute hanging above my toilet. Hey? And I got those from Home Goods as well as everything else, basically, in my bedroom. 
And if you want to see things more into detail, like into my cabinets and a couple more things that are actually in my bathroom, then make sure you check out my bathroom tour, which will also be linked in the description below. Back to my bed, which I did not tell you guys that it is a sleep number bed. So actually, the head can move up. Moving right now. The feet can move up, it can vibrate, it can change the softness and hardness. There's lights on the bottom, you can set it as a timer so it can move around whenever you want it to. So yeah, that's why I keep that controller in there. And anyway, that is it for my room tour today. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below. As you guys can tell, I don't like too many things on my wall, but several things. I like decorations to all match, all be the same color. So I hope you liked my bedroom, and if you did, make sure you comment down below, thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, and tell your friends to subscribe as well. And subscribe to my daily vlog channel, Our Family Nest Below, which is in the description as well, as well as my closet tour and my bathroom tours. That is it for my room tour. Bye, thank you for watching, and see you guys soon.